On this worksheet, we're going to be analyzing combined sets of spectra. We're going to have an IR, a mass spec, a proton NMR, and a carbon NMR that all correspond to the same molecule, and we're going to use them without any hints to come up with the structure of the molecule. These are the different steps that we're going to take as we analyze the spectra for each molecule. I might not follow them in this exact order, but we are going to do all of these things. We'll be using the mass spec to come come up with the molecular weight and also determine if we have nitrogen, chlorine, or bromine atoms. We'll use the IR to determine if we have oxygen atoms, and then we'll come up with the molecular formula and the HDI for the molecule. Once we get a formula and an HDI, we'll use the IR and the NMR, the proton NMR together to determine what kind of functional groups are present. And then once we know our functional groups, we'll focus on just the NMR as well as the carbon NMR to help us come up with um, the different portions or fragments of the molecule. Put it all together and we will um, come up with the structure. So let's go ahead and get started. Here is the IR and the mass spec for the very first molecule. I'm going to begin by drawing the lines uh, on the IR that kind of give us information about what parts of the spectrum to ignore. So we want to ignore everything to the right side of the 1500 line. We want to focus on everything to the left side of the 3000 line. This right here, this peak to the left of the 3000, this is where we find our special hydrogen atom. So we have some kind of special hydrogen atom in this molecule. Don't necessarily know exactly what it could be. Um, could be an NH, could be a hydrogen atom at the end of a carbon-carbon triple bond. Not sure. It doesn't really look like an OH peak. It's not quite round enough or broad enough for that. This is a pretty interesting looking area for the carbon hydrogen peaks. Let me move this out of the way. Um, normally we would see our carbon hydrogen peaks quite a bit stronger. So this funny looking, you know, carbon hydrogen peaks makes me think that there's possibly a benzene ring in the molecule. I'm going to keep a question mark by that because I want to keep an open mind. And then um, in this area of the spectrum here is where we find our double bonds. So we do have a peak right there. It's at around 1600. It's really, really strong. Um, normally our carbon carbon double bond peaks aren't that strong, but also normally our carbon carbon um, carbon oxygen double bond peaks are a little bit further to the left. So I think that this is a carbon carbon double bond peak that's just abnormally strong. I don't think it's carbon oxygen double bond, but again, I want to keep an open mind. Let's take a look at our mass spec. Um, first, we're going to find the M plus peak. The M plus peak is located right here, and we want to figure out the mass on this. 125, 24, 23, 22, 121. We have an odd mass number, which tells us that we have nitrogen in this molecule. We don't have any M plus two peak, so that means there's no chlorine, there's no bromine. And the IR gave us no indication of oxygen, I don't think. I don't think this is telling us we have oxygen. So um, if we did have a nitrogen in the molecule, then this peak right here would be consistent with a hydrogen on the nitrogen atoms. It's kind of looking like it might work. Let's go ahead and use this 121 with the nitrogen to come up with an HDI for this molecule uh, and a molecular formula. To come up with the molecular formula, we're going to use the rule of 13. We're going to start by taking our 121 and subtracting the mass of nitrogen. 121 minus 14 is 107. 107 is the mass of the carbons and hydrogens in the molecule, and that we can use the rule of 13 on. 107 divided by 13 is about 8 carbon atoms. To come up with the number of hydrogen atoms, we're going to take go back to our original molecular weight, 121. We're going to subtract our nitrogen. We're going to subtract the total mass of all 8 of those carbon atoms, 121 minus 14 minus 8 times 12 is 11 hydrogen atoms. So we're getting a formula C8H11N. And if this formula is crazy, we'll get that kind of information right away once we calculate the HDI. Let's do that next. Carbon atoms times 2 is 16, plus 2 is 18. Subtract the number of hydrogen atoms that we have, so that's minus 11. That gives us 7, and then we need to add one for the nitrogen, which gives us 8. Divide that by 2, which gives us an HDI of 4. An HDI of 4 is consistent with having a benzene ring in the molecule. So let's go back up to our IR, because we've got a little bit more information here. Since we have a nitrogen present in the molecule, this special nitrogen peak, 
I wasn't quite sure if, you know, or special peak over here, I wasn't quite sure exactly what it corresponded to. I think it's safe for us to assume that that's an NH peak, not a triple bond, so we'll get rid of that possibility. Since we have an HDI of four, we definitely have a benzene ring, and this is definitely a very strong carbon-carbon double bond peak. No question mark on that anymore. Remember with NH peaks, the number of bumps in this area tells us how many hydrogen atoms are attached to the nitrogen. And since we only have one peak, that means we only have one hydrogen on our nitrogen. We don't have a second hydrogen on the nitrogen. We're going to take all of this information over to our I, uh, NMRs. C8H11N. So I'm going to start by writing our formula down that we came up with. C8H11N. And I'm also going to write down that we have an HDI of 4. We believe that we have a benzene ring. And we have only one hydrogen on our nitrogen. The first thing that I want to do is just verify with the proton NMR that the number of hydrogen atoms are adding up to what we came up with in the formula. 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11. So that looks good. Um, these peaks right here at about seven parts per million, this is where we find our benzene ring. And since that is integrating at five, that tells us that we have five hydrogen atoms on the benzene ring. So we'll go ahead and draw that in like that. Then um, for our other peaks, this is one hydrogen that looks, you know, it's, it's kind of a funny looking peak. Um, this I believe is our NH peak. NH peaks um, don't appear normal in the carbon or proton NMR because the hydrogens on nitrogens don't split and they're not split by others. So like the OH hydrogen peak in proton NMR, it's just usually just kind of funny looking, a little bit broader at the base. Uh, I think that this is our NH peak. The next peak that we have um, next to that is integrating at two. So this is gonna be two hydrogen atoms on a carbon by itself. And this is split into four. So that's a quartet. Quartet means for this peak that N equals three. Four, three plus one equals four. So that means that these hydrogens have three neighbors. Then our last peak over here, we have N equals three. Maybe it's these three guys right here. It's split into a triplet, so that means for these guys, n equals 2, because 2 plus 1 is a triplet, and so that's probably these guys right here. So these two peaks most likely are corresponding to an ethyl group. Looks like we probably have as much information as we're going to get for this molecule, so we can go ahead and put it together. And If we took this ethyl group and just stuck it right on the ring, just right there, like I guess it would have to kind of go... Uh, like this right there, that would be okay, but there would be no room for us to put our nitrogen on the molecule. So if we stuck this right here, there's no place for the nitrogen. So that tells me that we need to put the nitrogen on the molecule first, like right there in that place. And then we can go ahead and attach our ethyl group up here to the top. I'm gonna redraw that NH bond stick that right there. We haven't even looked at the carbon NMR at all yet. Let's go down and look at the carbon NMR. What we're expecting to see is two unique carbon atoms plus a whole bunch of them for the benzene ring. And it looks like we've got two unique carbon atoms plus here's our benzene.